quilting out this pantograph. It's a really beautiful design. And to show how to do the stop and save needle position and then come back, I paused it. My options on the screen right now are start, restart, realign, and adjust. I want to shut down. So I'm going to touch the back arrow. Do you want to save the current needle position? So when I save this needle position, it will be exactly accurate. Do you want to save the current needle position? Yes. See the crosshair on the screen? And there is a red bullseye in that place. This is the perfect way to back out of a quilt and save it for another day. Back arrow again. Now on the screen, I see save quilt slash pattern. Touch that. On my save quilt pattern screen, I have save rename the quilt as an option. A lot of other options, but we're focusing on shutting down and saving this quilt. Comes up unsaved. We don't want anyone to be unsaved, so we touch clear. And we're going to name this, going to name this W space wind. And that's because this is woven wind design. It's a beautiful design. So I say W wind, and I'm going to say enter. Now that is sa saved in the work in progress catalog, continue. And I'm also going to save it in another destination catalog, which is class and select. All right, so I'm going to continue shutting down the system. So if you're not comfortable shutting down your system, just hang here with us just for a second. I'm going to go to the back arrow again. I'm going to touch system. It says shut down system. Are you sure you want to shut down system? Yes, the motors lift. This is the proper way to shut down. And then I pull the machine towards me, turn off the machine, and then I'm going to turn off the strip underneath. This allows IntelliQuilter to properly shut down. I'm bringing back up IntelliQuilter to resume quilting. You can see on the quilt I have the top thread and the bobbin thread that I pulled up when I, when I stopped quilting. So now it's time to resume. Your tablet may start up a little bit different with the power switch, but on mine, I reach right here, hold it down for a second, let go, and wait for it to power up. And it's going to instruct me to move the machine close to the front roller and the center. So we'll wait for that. It's gonna beep and help me get moving. That beeping is prompting me to move the machine to the middle of the table close to the front roller and touch continue. Okay, so we are going to design sew a quilt. We are going to edit sew an existing. Now the very last one that we were working on is still on the screen and I'm going to choose that and I'm going to be fine. So what would you do if you were going back to a quilt that was say three quilts back? Maybe you've done two quilts since you did this one. So then you would need to go and find it either the quilt in work in progress that you saved or you could go into that catalog that you chose to save that that quilt. So that's one another reason I like to save things in more than one location because I know that this is a class and I know I could touch that and go back and find that exact quilt. So the last quilt that you worked on would have been the one to pop up on this screen. So be sure that you know where you're saving your quilts. Do it with confidence. And just always remember that when you bring the IntelliQuilter up, the last quilt you were working on will be the one that comes on the screen. So we were working on this quilt. So I'm going to say continue. Do you want to save a backup of the work in progress? No, because I have already saved it. So look at that beautiful red bullseye right there. Because we saved our needle position when we were backing up to shut down, we have a beautiful little red bullseye to help us get started again. So it says touch a reference point on the screen, but that position is already showing for us. So we can say continue. It 
says move the needle to the reference point and touch OK. The reference point that we have on the quilt is where we stopped. I'm moving the needle right over the last stitch I made when I was using IntelliQuilter before I shut down. Move the needle to the reference point and touch OK. IntelliQuilter now knows where we are in this project and now it is time to sew quilt. Select the first pattern to quilt. We had that small partial at the top. Continue Panto Sequencing Assistant. We are going to stitch left to right. We're going to tie off between rows and we're gonna do the whole quilt. That's how quickly we can set that quilt up. And now we're going to touch sew quilt. It says touch a dash line or marker line and drag it to the desired position. There isn't anything I want to do on the adjust screen at this time. I'm going to touch finished and I expect the machine to move to the left. I'm going to touch finished. The machine starts moving to the left. Stop. And I want to ask it to restart. The reason I want it to restart is it's going to the beginning of the, of the first row. I know that I did the first row and most of the second row. So now when I touch restart, this wonderful red arrow is on the screen. And as I move the crosshair, that arrow is dancing in front of me, telling me which way it wants to travel. I'm going to put it right over the area that I need to restart. That's exactly where I stopped yesterday. So I'm going to say, okay, it takes a single stitch for me. I'm going to swipe under the hopping foot and bring up the bobbin. I'm going to hold these threads off to the side. I'm going to touch OK. It takes a single stitch. And when I touch Start, it's going to resume quilting exactly where it stopped yesterday. And away we go. Don't be afraid if you have to stop. Before you get to the edge, you know, I do like to stop at the edge because that certainly would hide any little blooper that I make when I restart. But you can go back and start exactly where you stopped the previous time. 